Cardiac Stress Test Exercise A stress test is a way to test how well your heart is working. If you have symptoms like chest pain or shortness of breath, your healthcare provider might have you take this test. During the test, your heart will be monitored while you do exercises like walking or running on a treadmill or riding an exercise bike. This shows how well your heart works when it's under physical stress. An exercise imaging stress test can help your healthcare provider find out if you have coronary artery disease, also called CAD. With CAD, the blood vessels that supply blood to your heart muscle can narrow. This means that your heart tissues may not get enough blood during exercise. When your heart has to work harder, the heart then can't work as well. This may cause symptoms during exercise, like chest pain or shortness of breath. The test can also find out if your treatments for heart disease are working. And it can show if you need other tests to look for narrowed arteries. You also might need an exercise stress test to show how hard you can safely exercise. Your healthcare provider might also have you take the test if you don't have symptoms, but you have risks for CAD, like diabetes. Exercise stress tests are very safe, and your healthcare provider can quickly stop the test if you feel unwell or there's a problem. What to expect? Before your test, you may need to stop taking certain medications, including over-the-counter medications. You may be asked to not eat or drink anything but water for a short time before the test. It's important not to have caffeine before the test, so be sure to avoid coffee, tea, and soda. Wear comfortable, loose-fitting clothes and good walking shoes. The test will take about an hour or two, including test setup and monitoring afterward. Right before your exercise test, someone will hook you up to an electrocardiogram, or EKG machine. This is used to monitor your heart rhythm. During the test, you'll exercise. You might ride a stationary bike, walk on a treadmill, or turn a crank with your arms. You'll have to work harder and harder as the test goes on. A healthcare provider will also monitor your blood pressure, your heart rate, your breathing, how well you are feeling, and the air you breathe out. All of this gives information about how your heart is working. Once you reach a certain heart rate, the test will stop. You might need to stop your test early if you have symptoms such as moderate to severe chest pain, extreme shortness of breath, abnormally low or high blood pressure, or an abnormal heart rhythm. If you have any of these symptoms, tell the healthcare provider right away. You can stop the test anytime the exercise is too much for you. After the test, you'll be monitored for a while. Once you're sent home, you can return to normal activities that same day. If your test results are normal, you might not need further treatment or tests. Some people might need other tests to get more information, like an imaging stress test. Things to remember. You might need an exercise cardiac stress test to see if you have a heart problem, like coronary artery disease. The stress test gives helpful information that your healthcare provider can use to help plan your treatment. You can always stop the stress test if you need to. What we have learned. You might need an exercise stress test if you have diabetes. True or false? The answer is true. Diabetes puts someone at higher risk of coronary artery disease. Remember to eat a big lunch right before your test. True or false? The answer is false. You should not eat before the test. And you should drink only water. Make sure to not have caffeine either.